Fahrer sind nicht krass gerne reinmachen. Ja, Welcome to another video about Istanbul Airport. This is the part two and it's going to be about the short connection. How to do a short connection in Istanbul Airport coming up right now. Short connection in Istanbul Airport is for passengers that have less than 90 minutes. But don't be tricked by the name. It's not shorter in terms of distance. You will get access to a fast track security checkpoint but that's more or less it so in order to do a video about the short connection i had to book a ticket with a connecting flight less than 90 minutes would i recommend anyone to have a connecting flight less than 19 minutes no not at all would i do this again yes i would definitely would and in this video i'm gonna tell you why but you have to keep in mind that Istanbul Airport is one of the world's largest airports and I would strongly advise you to have enough time between your flights. But if you have no choice then to have a connecting flight with a less than 90 minutes, I will in this video try to give you some valuable tips so you don't have to do the same thing I did. <laughs> Before we start, I would just like to take a couple seconds to answer your question from my last video about Istanbul. There was two or three questions that many of you wanted the answer to. So those questions will probably come up for some of you in this video as well. So let me answer those questions first. The three most asked question was, do I need a visa to do a transit? Do I need to go through any immigration on transit? Do I need to go through any kind of passport check control? The answer to these three questions is no, no, and no. It's easy as that. The only thing you will have to show is your boarding pass at security checkpoint. That's it. And by the way, if you want to see the part one of my Istanbul airport video, I will link to that video up here. I'm not sure where it's going to pop up, but this corner. And I will link to that video in the description as well. Okay, back to the Istanbul airport and the short connection. <laughs> To let you understand what uh, what I'm talking about during this video, I will show you an easy layout of Istanbul Airport so you know what I'm talking about. Istanbul Airport is one of the world's largest airports, but it's very easy designed for us passengers. When you look at this layout, this could easily be in a small airport in a small city someplace in the world, but it's not. It's one of the biggest. So if you if you take a closer look on this layout you will see that the terminal is more or less divided in two you have we have the left side and we have the right side this makes it very easy to understand this airport but keep in mind it's still a long long run from the gate for example from the gate f to the gate b and that is exactly what happened to me in this video so let's start from the beginning i'm going to show you a quick tour about my short connection from the moment i ordered the ticket and as we arrive at the gate normally i book my ticket at the airlines website something happened it's more easy to deal directly with the, the airline than for example an agency i booked my ticket at turkishairlines.com in this case i was looking for a flight with a transfer time uh, less than 90 minutes so have i find my uh, my flight and i got a transfer time of only one hour and five minutes perfect i thought at the time and as we landed in Istanbul, the pilot proudly informed us, the passengers, that we had landed 30 minutes ahead of schedule. That was even more perfect. And for a second, I was I was worrying a little bit because now I had so much time to my next flight that they might wouldn't let me use the short connection. Mm -hmm. But that was before the plane started to taxiing over to the designated gate. So let's have a look. Uh, 
As you can see here, the plane landed on the runway at 4.19 p.m. And then the plane had to taxi over to the gate F. 15. And as you can see, this took us exactly 20 long minutes. And this is according to flight radar and is pretty, pretty accurate. Let me right here tell you a very important detail about having a short connection. If we haven't landed 30 minutes prior to the estimated arrival time, I would actually had a hard time reaching the gate before closing time. But this would of course be the airline's fault. They would have to put me on another flight that evening or another flight the next day and arrange hotel, taxi and so on. So I think they would have waited for me, but I will address this in a later video cause I will make a video about that too. So more of this in a later video. So after taxiing to the gate, I was one of the first passengers to leave the plane. Okay, let's stop for a second first. I didn't travel business class, but the air hostess did put me there because in-flight entertainment system didn't work properly. So a big thumb up for Turkish Airlines and the air hostess on that flight for that one. Thank you. That was a really nice thing to do. Okay, so I'm one of the first passengers getting up the air bridge and I'm so ready to start looking for the short connection. But I'm instead met by this lady calling for Bangkok passengers. And I'm now instructed to wait because there are four more passengers on this flight heading for Bangkok. Hmm, okay. And then she tried to tell me we are gonna go on the short connection and take the lift downstairs. Now I'm starting to be really optimistic and hoping that this is really gonna be a short, short connection. So there I am waiting for four more passengers. And I'm probably waiting for about 10 minutes or more and listening to this. And after the waiting time, five passengers in total ready for explore the short connection. And we all think we in for a treat and maybe some VIP short connection. <laughs> but damn, we was wrong. We are in for a mother marathon. <laughs> she takes us. She takes us first into a fast track security uh, checkpoint. And this is, and this is the only thing that actually are shorter on this short connection because after the security checkpoint we take the lift down to the international departure hall but we are still at the same game we have only take the lift down so we still at the f uh, f15 just go down so if you look on the map again you will see we are still here but we have to be here That is a long, long walk. This is when the nightmare start. We all have to run. So we're starting to run from the gate F15 and we running down this lane. We take the escalator up one floor and then we start running through the entire airport until we reach, we reach the escalator on the other side here and here we take the escalator, escalator down one floor and it's time to start running again all the way out to the B15 where you can find hair it's pretty much it's pretty much the last gate on the B when we finally reach 
the gate B16, B15, they have just started boarding. Just open, started the boarding of the passengers. So basically, we have been running for nothing. Okay, thanks a lot. And I do remember in the running process, I tried to contact the lady showing us the way and running and screaming all the way. I tried to, to uh, call her, to shout to her that we still had, according to my watch, we still have some time. And the boarding wasn't supposed to start before 5.05 p.m. But I never got an answer back. So I thought there might be some some changes to the departure time and that we was really in a hurry. We were not. And as I told the airline staff, I ain't doing this again. So next time you wait for me or you leave without me. That's it. Because when, when an airline let you book a trip from A to B via C, when they let you to book, a complete trip they are responsible to get you there but despite that I will really really recommend you based on my experience now I would really recommend you to have enough transfer time that will make your that will make your journey a lot easier believe me but the strongest tip I can give you is to trust yourself and the time that's why I will not be running next time simply because I know I have enough time to reach the gate at time. That is my strongest tip. The next tip for me is next time I will not wait for other passengers. That was also a big waste of time. Just start walk if you know where to go and it is pretty easy to follow the signs. So because of all this I will make a follow-up video on this one on the short connection and I will book yet another ticket with a very short connection time just to see if they leave without me and then to see how they take care of me as a passenger left behind so you might want to subscribe to stay updated and see how this ends but the next video will be an update on my first video the ordinary connection with plenty of time and this time i will use a priority pass to access the lounges so i will give you an update on the show, uh, on on the connection the transit how to do transit and then i will also show you if you have priority pass what you can do with that and as always if you have any question whatsoever be sure to leave it down in the comment section and i will do my best to answer every question you ask okay hope you like the video see you next time peace out